Whenever you change the URL or the permalink on a page or a post in WordPress, you need to make a 301 redirect. A 301 redirect is a permanent redirection method that guides users and search engines to a new URL. If someone were to click on an old link with your old website address, the 301 redirect would automatically send them to the correct new URL. So this is important to prevent broken links, 404 errors, and to make sure you're not messing up your SEO strategy. This can be done with code, but we're gonna keep things very easy in this tutorial and do it using a redirection plugin in WordPress. Let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial, the goal is really to be quick and easy. So I'm not gonna go deep into, you know, what 301 redirects are, all the different settings for this plugin. Um, most of my viewers are business owners, not web designers. So I just want to show you how to do this as quickly as possible so you can get back to work. This is one of my client's websites and I noticed after the website was launched that one of the page URLs is just not what I want it to be. On the catering page, the URL says catering-3, um, which isn't a huge deal. It's just ugly and I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the URL of this page and then we're going to redirect the old one uh, to the new one. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this old one. So I'm going to select that and right click and go to copy. And I like to just have a random like notepad open um, while I'm working to help me out. And like I probably would have remembered this, but just to keep things easy, I'm going to paste it here so I can easily get it later. Uh, and then we are going to edit the page and then over here in the page settings, it has the URL. Uh, we are going to click this and then um, we're going to rename this to event catering. Um, you can have a space in the URL, but if you do put a space here where it says permalink, um, it's going to like you hit enter and you close out of this. Um, it's going to automatically put a dash there. So no biggie. If you do put a space, it will fix it for you. And then I'm going to click update. And then when I view the page, you are going to see it with the new URL. So I am going to select that and then copy it and then add it here to my notepad so I can keep track of everything very well. And now that we have that saved for later, let's head back to the dashboard. Um, we are going to add on that plugin, the redirection plugin. So hover over plugins and go to add new. And then up here for keywords, search redirection and hit enter. And then this is the plugin that I like to use and a lot of people like to use for 301 redirects. There's a lot of different 301 redirect plugins. Um, you of course could use another one, but this is the one I like. So I'm gonna click um, install now. And then when that's done, I'm gonna click activate. And then to set that up and get the redirection done, we can go to tools and redirection. You guys can read this if you want. I'm just gonna click start setup. And then I'm gonna click uh, yes for all of these for the basic setups. You can feel free to click read more about this on any of these to learn more about what this is. But the first one's basically just, it will make a redirection automatically for you when you make changes to a WordPress post and page, which is kind of cool. And this one keeps a log of redirects and 404 errors. It does say that it will increase your database storage requirements, but if you have a decent web host, it shouldn't be anything you have to worry about. Um, you can uncheck these two if you want, but I would keep the first one checked. And then click continue. Uh, next is going to test your REST API. You don't have to know what this is. It's going to say good. If it doesn't say good, then then contact your host and tell them that you, you're having problems with your REST API. Next, click the finish setup button. And then when that's done, click continue. And then you can click the ready to begin button. And now it's time to do the actual redirection. So here's our notepad and it says source URL. So source URL is the old one. So it's the first one and we can just kind of, we can just take the end of it. We don't have to have our um, domain name, just the last part uh, with the slashes just like that, how I have it there. And then we're going to paste it in there. 
And then for the target URL, we can go ahead and select this whole thing and go to copy and then paste because that's where you want the source URL to go. That's the new URL. And then click add redirect. And then that's it. Super easy, right? So let's hover over this and you can go check redirect. Click check redirect just to see if it's working. And it is working, but I have trust issues and I want to make sure 100% is working correctly. So we're going to test it again um, in an incognito window. So we have our incognito window open and we have our notepad open. And what we want to do to make sure this redirect is working is to select the old URL and then paste it up here and then hope that it switches to the new one. So let's try that and it was catering three and now it's loading and now it says event catering. So perfect, we're all done, we did it. The redirection is all done and you don't have to worry about any broken links. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are a business owner uh, making your own website, I have a nine step website roadmap in the description that you can download for free that will um, tell you exactly what you need to do to get your site live so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching.